Christmas Eve. I decided I would get another video up today before all the little holiday festivities goes on with my family. So I wanted to get this day five video up for you guys. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to watch it today, but even if you don't get to watch it today, hopefully you have some time off for the holidays and some downtime that you get to relax and watch some YouTube videos and hopefully you'll check this one out. So today I am working on day five and it's going to be a two page spread. This particular page has a pocket on the left and then just some of the Bella Boulevard paper on the right. So I'm first going to decorate the front part of this pocket with this tissue paper. It was perfect for this page and I received it in a gift this year so I thought it'd be perfect, also a memory. So I'm just gluing that down with a glue stick and that glue stick I used was horrendous. It's a horrible glue stick. I highly recommend not getting that glue stick. It was one of those UBs or UBOs or something like that from Target. Don't get it. Um, stick with the Elmer's glue or the is it Yoohoo glue? Something like that. Um, but anyway, that glue stick was terrible. I think I got it on clearance uh, during, um, you know, back to school kind of sales. So don't get that one. Anyway, <laughs> back to the layout. So I am just mounting this four by six photo of my daughter in her new Christmas sweater. And I use some of this unbleached parchment paper. And because it is parchment paper, it's not sticky. So I just used my adhesive to kind of pull it in place while I went and sewed around with black thread around the edge. And I just glued that down. So it's pretty simple. Um, I wanted to add some embellishment up in the top left of this particular photo. So I'm taking this Joy stamp. This is from an Allie Edwards, um, I think it's a Technique Tuesday stamp set that I got a long time ago. And I'm trying both of my brown inks, my wallet stain and my vintage photo, but I don't really like how that looks. So I'm going to pull out some Stampin' Up! Real Red ink, and this looks so much better. So I'm just going to clean off my stamp here, and then I'll stamp down this particular uh, Joy stamp with the red, and you'll see that I think it looks much better. And it goes more with the um, paper that the photo is going mounted on. So I don't have a punch that's quite this big, so I'm just fussy cutting the circle, no big deal. And I am inking around the edges with my vintage photo. And I want this to kind of lay on something. It looked a little plain, so I'm going to go through my fabric, and I'm going to end up using this green fabric here. And I'm just trimming it and ripping it because I like that kind of frayed edge. Uh, some fabrics trim and rip better than others. You just kind of have to play with them and see what works best for the particular fabric you have. So you can see I was struggling a little bit there because I was trying to rip off such a tiny little piece. But in the end, it works out. So I am going to mount that there on this particular... Um, what is it called? Fabric. <laughs> but I felt like it still needed something else. So I'm going to audition a couple different laces and I'm going to end up using this white one here, but it's a little too white for my taste. So I'm going to take one of my inking tools and use my vintage photo distress ink and then just ink it up a bit. So it just kind of cuts down on that white starkness of it and just adds a little bit of a vintage or a creamy color look to it. And I think that worked out really well. And then I'm going to glue that to the top part of this piece of fabric here. I'm going to use my 3-in-1 glue from Beacon. I am in love with this glue. I'm already a quarter of the way through the bottle. Probably have to put an order in relatively soon with the way I'm using it. It glues fabric really well. Um, I love that it doesn't buckle paper, and I've mentioned that before in the videos. So I definitely recommend this glue if you're looking for a new liquid glue. It's a bit stringy, um, kind of like... Um, what is it, um, hot glue, but the strings aren't like bad as hot glue where they don't stick around. They just kind of string off, but you can get them pretty easily. So I stitched around the Joy uh, circle, which is some black thread on my sewing machine, and I'm going to glue everything down. And because that parchment paper wasn't going to stick very well, I used some PVA glue. Um, I roughed up the back of the parchment paper to give it a little tooth, and then I just glued it down with some PVA glue. Now that cluster's up there in the top right, I thought it needed a little bit more, so I'm adding a little wood veneer piece from a hip kit, and I think it's this piece with a little dove, and I thought that, you know, finished that particular cluster off really well. And then I'll add a little bit of glue at the top of the fabric so that it will stick there in the top right left-hand corner. So that page is done. Now I'm going to work on the left-hand side. So I'm going to be making um, some little tags that fit in the pocket. And then I'm also going to be mounting a photo of my daughter at her Girl Scout event um, on the top above the pocket. Um, here you can see I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive here to hold that down. And then I'm going to do some zigzag stitching around the photo. And then I'm going to be making a tag. So I'm kind of playing around trying to figure out what I want to do. I decide while I'm thinking to just trim off some of this excess parchment paper. And I'm going to take some of this tea dyed cardstock and I'm going to make a tag out of it. 
So I like the other side better, so I'm going to be covering this up because I'm going to do some collaging. So I'm going to use the side that has kind of the lines on it to do the collaging on so I can cover up that um, those lines. And those lines are okay, I just didn't really like them for this piece, so I wanted to just cut them off or uh, cover them up, I'm sorry. So I cut the corners to make a tag shape, and now I'm going to be going through my little bits and pieces here trying to figure out how I want to collage this particular tag. I'm going to use that paper there. I believe it is dictionary paper and then I'm going to use some of this music wrapping paper. These are pictures um, on the same day that my daughter had her little winter musical so I thought the music pieces would go well. I'm going to be using some of that terrible terrible um, glue stick again. Um, you'll see later on in the video I actually go over to using an Elmer's glue stick because it just wouldn't dry. It's like super gooey and sticky and it was, oh my gosh, it was just super annoying. It was bothering me. So, uh, you know, live and learn. That's what happens when you get cheap stuff. Um, not that Elmer's glue is super expensive, but it seems to work a lot better than this particular glue. So, I'm doing this right now. This actually is going to get covered up, but I wanted to keep it in because I thought it would give a nice idea of what you might be able to do with some of your tea dyed papers or how you want to collage. You can just punch something, a shape or a circle, or in this case, a snowflake, and you can back it with some cardstock. And I thought that looked pretty cool with the book paper and the um, red cardstock. But like I said, it's going to end up getting covered up, but I wanted to show that to you as an example of what you might want to do when you're collaging. Just trimming off the excess, um, and then I'm going to stick down this snowflake here. And then I'm going to pull out a stamp that I got from a letter. My aunt sent my daughter a little envelope, and I thought it had a really pretty Santa stamp on it. So in a second here, I'll show you how I'm just going to trim that out or, or rip that off the paper or the envelope that it came in. I'm going to ink around the edges, and I'm going to glue that to the top right. And I think that adds something nice to that kind of blank space in the top right. So just using my vintage photo again. So while I'm doing that, I just want to thank you guys so much for joining me. Like always, if you are enjoying this series or you like the videos, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. And if you are interested in finding out when I have my videos posted, you can click on the bell in that bottom right-hand corner usually of the computer screen. And you can be notified of when I have new videos up. Also, you guys can leave comments for me. I love hearing from you guys. Um, it's been fun with this little series. I've been getting a decent amount of comments, and it's it's always good and nice hearing from you guys. Hearing that you know if you like in the series, if you don't like it, what you'd like to see different. You know, how was your December daily going? Anything you might like to chit chat about? I love hearing from you guys. So definitely leave comments below. Here is where I pull out the better glue stick. This is from Elmer's and it glues so much better. It is so much better. I can't tell you how much better it is. So I'm just gonna glue this down, glue the piece of tissue paper down to mimic the tissue paper that I have on the front of the pocket. I thought that would look nice together. And I'm just using an old book that I pulled out. Um, I made, um, a junk journal with the cover of this particular book and I've actually seen um, a lot of people, a lot of different YouTubers using book pages so when they pull out the books, when they make books um, and use the covers, they have these papers left and they don't really know what to do with them so they use them as a place to do a lot of their glue stick gluing and so I thought I'd try that out and it actually works really well and what they end up doing is they'll rip off those pages, fold them in half and then use those pages later on in their collages so instead of throwing out those blocks um, they can use them later on for other projects. So I thought that was pretty a good, a pretty good idea. So I thought I'd try that myself. Um, now I am just inking up the square. I did my journaling with my uh, vintage typewriter. I'm going to do the same gluing here with the piece of paper, and then I'm going to stick that down. And that's just going to cover up that sewing that I did from the other side. That kind of finishes off the back of this tag for the most part. I'm going to punch a hole at the top and then string some more of that lace through. Oh, first I'm just going to punch uh, another snowflake and put it there in that empty spot. And just using that same glue stick and then gluing that down. And one of the little arms fell off, but that's no problem. I can just stick it back down. No big deal. And then I'm going to ink around. I'll punch that hole. And then I'm going to use one of the hole reinforcers that I stained with the walnut ink. So I wanted a darker hole reinforcer. So you'll see me doing that in here now. And then... I'm going to use that same lace that I used in the top or on the right hand page and I'm going to do the same inking technique just using that brush inking it so that it cuts down on that stark whiteness and it just looks a little more vintagey and more creamy so I thought that worked well. I'm going to tie that on with some of this brown and white biker's twine 
and that is pretty much going to do it for this particular tag. Um, I really like how it turned out. I'll show you how um, both of my tags are going to fit into the pocket here in just a second. Oh, actually, sorry. I'm going to glue down this photo first, and then I'll show you how that works. So I'm just putting this on some of that Bella Boulevard cardstock that has the white and white snowflakes with the red background, and then just gluing this photo down, pretty much keeping it simple. So here's where the tag goes in. I thought I was going to put it on the right-hand side, but I didn't want to cover my daughter's face, so I ended up putting the left. And I felt like that place where the front of the pocket is was a little plain, so I pulled this Merry and Bright sticker off, and I'm going to back it with some of the cheesecloth just to give it some more texture. I thought it looked a little... Um, lonely there by itself so I'm just gonna glue that down trim off the excess and then I'll fray some of the edges just by pulling off some of the strings and stuff it's really easy to fray this cheesecloth it wasn't a very expensive cheesecloth I got it off of Amazon if anybody's interested um, I just put in cheesecloth and found something that was inexpensive that I got a decent amount of just using my three-in-one glue to glue down that on the pocket and then I wanted to add the number. I almost always forget about putting the number for the page, but um, I did remember I found these little Christmas tree paper clips from one of the Hip Kit Document Decembers from a couple years ago. And then the five is also from that same kit. I thought it looked a little funny there, and the, I thought the tree was covering up a little too much. So I wanted to mount the little circle onto something else. So I happen to have this punch that looks like an ornament in my stash. So I'm going to punch it out, ink around the edges, and then staple the number five or the word five to this. And then I thought that anchored it in a bit better and I thought it paper clipped well on here. And I think that turned out well. So now I have this other tag here. I didn't want to show um, the picture. It's from my daughter's school, so I didn't want to show all the kids' um, faces. So I just kind of covered that up with some of that parchment paper to kind of hide them. Um, but I had that tab that I put there at the top, and I needed something. So I just put Xmas Show, um, and I'm going to glue that down after I inked it. And I'm just going to put that on the tab. And then that little tag will fit there on the right. So I think that turned out pretty cute. Um, I like how this all fit. It's pretty flat, so it doesn't add too much bulk. Um, and then I'm going to show you some close-ups. And that's pretty much it. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. Hopefully I'll have day six up here soon. Um, I know it's going to get a little busy with the holidays, so I don't know when I'll have time to post another video. But hopefully you'll hear from me soon. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.